Today's video is brought to you by HelloFresh. HelloFresh takes the stress out of mealtime by delivering fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door. This fall, skip that extra trip to the grocery store and have dinner ready in no time with America's number one meal kit. A new season calls for new meals and HelloFresh has a whole bunch of new meals with over 40 weekly recipes to choose from. And HelloFresh is gonna have something for everybody, whether it's a vegetarian meal, a meal with meat, or just something for the whole family. HelloFresh will have you covered. Got our raviolis mixed in there. It's looking so freaking good. Keep in mind that HelloFresh does more than just dinners. You can stock your fridge with a simple breakfast, a quick lunch, a fresh snack, all available. You just have to go to the HelloFresh market and add these quick and simple tasty solutions to your weekly box. Get one of these raviolis real quick. Oh yeah, that's a good one. If you guys want to get started on HelloFresh, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com, use our promo code 50BoostedBoys at checkout for 50% off plus free shipping. That is code 50BoostedBoys for 50% off and free shipping at HelloFresh.com. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. What's up guys? Just wanted to give you a quick update on the MR2 once again. As you guys may or may not have seen in the last video, we are officially taking the MR2 to World Cup Finals this year. If you guys don't know what that is, it is one of the biggest drag racing events in the whole country and it's just crazy to see how far this channel has come. Just to even qualify to get into the event is a pretty big deal and the MR2 is fast enough to do it. We got our tickets, we got our trailer, we got our smart car. All we gotta do is get this thing up and running and we're ready to run World Cup for the first time. It's an event we've always wanted to do so I'm pretty pumped on it but we got a lot to get done on the MR2 and I just wanted to invite any of you guys out that wanna come to the event it would be a good idea to get your tickets now if you do plan on coming because they have sold out online and you guys won't be disappointed. It's a massive drag racing event. The fastest cars in the whole country come out here and they do sell out. So tickets are online. I believe you can go to importversedomestic.com and it's at Maryland International Raceway. So I hope to see you guys out there. Right now we are just getting a couple small things done here and there as we wait for the engine to come in. Right now White is working on redoing some of the flooring. I don't know if you guys remember, but we had some steel plates right here because we cut out the factory hump that was in the MR2 for where the factory gas tank went and we flat bottomed the car. And we had a whole bunch of wiring and AN lines running in here. So Wyatt got rid of the steel panels that we had that were kind of heavy and getting rusted up. And he made this aluminum channel right here so we can actually run our lines underneath and it will clean up the cab a whole bunch. He just has to make another panel to go right down there. We got the FuelTech FT600 mounted to the steering column there. Check that out. We got this nice billet mount from FuelTech as well. It goes right to the steering column to make it nice and easy. And yeah, boys, she's coming together. We just gotta wait on that billet engine to get here so we can really start getting this thing together. And if you guys come out and see it in person, you might just see the first 200 mile an hour MR2. I don't know how it's gonna go, but all I can promise is that we will do our best to send it and we will just try our best for you guys. And I did see some comments about us needing twin shoots at 200 miles an hour. That is technically a requirement, but I feel like that's one of those things where we will cross that bridge when we get there. I don't know what this setup is going to be capable of. We have slowed the car down fine at 192 miles an hour. MIR has a really big shutdown. We also have the parachute on CO2 on the button on the steering wheel that helped tremendously with keeping the car stable because I saw some comments about that. We're definitely, you know, keeping safety and all that stuff in mind. We're just going to see what this thing does, boys, and kind of go from there. And we have a lot to get done. She is a bear car right now. Lots to do, but more on that later. Let's get to the video. The Aero Eroy project has been quite the journey, guys. Again, a whole bunch of new subscribers. The videos did really good on this thing, which I was not expecting. But unfortunately, the Aero version of Eroy is coming to an end today. As you guys saw in the last video, we let our boy Greg drive this, who will only weigh 70 pounds, and it went a 871 at 158 miles an hour. 871. And this is currently the fastest Tesla in the world in a standing quarter mile which is pretty nuts. If you guys told us years back that we'd have the fastest Tesla sitting in our shop, I'd say you're crazy, but here we are. Content on it did really good, like I said. We did not expect to keep these aluminum panels on there for this long, but we really wanted to keep pushing it until we got that record and we were able to get that out of the way. And we still have one more idea that we wanna try with Greg once again, but he's busy. He works a full-time job and getting the car ready for him to drive it uh, is a process, just swapping the seats and everything, especially with the aluminum panels 
on Eroy, and we wanna do some other things with the car. So today, we are going to be taking all this stuff back off, putting it back to its normal Eroy form to uh, do some more stuff with it. And then at some point, we might put this stuff back on and try one more thing, but that will be in the future. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and tear these panels off, get this thing looking like Eroy again. We won't have to crawl in through the freaking hatch every time just to drive it. Uh, we also gotta get my seat back in there because it's still set up for Greg's seat. Just get this thing back to Eroy and go from there. All right, guys, we got the aluminum panels off of the Tesla. It's looking like Eroy once again. You guys look right over here. We got these sweet new wheels, and these are from Unplugged Performance. If you guys haven't heard of Unplugged Performance, they are the leaders of aftermarket Tesla parts. They have all kinds of racing wheels, carbon ceramic brake kits. They got freaking carbon fiber components for all kinds of Teslas. I mean, they even have pre-orders for stuff on the Cybertruck that isn't even out yet. So these guys uh, reached out to us and wanted to work with us and help make Eroy a little faster here and just help get this thing dialed because I also want to take this thing on some road courses in the future. I thought that'd be pretty cool to see how it does on a track. And we got ourselves a fresh set of lightweight wheels from Unplugged Performance. And we got some Nittos on these wheels right here. And these are cool because they are actually built specific for the Plaid. It says Plaid spec right there. Right here we got engineered for Tesla. What a lot of people got to keep in mind when getting new wheels for their Tesla is you gotta look at the load rating on the wheels because these things are really heavy when they're full weight they're like 5,000 pounds and a lot of off-the-shelf wheels don't meet the maximum load required for an off-the-shelf wheel and you don't want to damage the wheel going into a turn at the track or something like that so these are built with the Tesla weight in mind and these can handle all the abuse of the track and we decided to go with these Nitto NT555 G2 tires I believe these are the same ones they run in Formula Drift uh, they aren't the stickiest tire out there, but since we are taking a break from the drag strip stuff, we wanted to try a good universal tire that we can take on a road course and also drive on the street. And these are a 20 inch wheel, which gives us way more options. You can also get a 19 inch wheel or whatever, because you have to keep in mind, you gotta make sure that tire diameter doesn't freak the car out. So with the uh, smaller diameter wheel, it expands our tire options. And we also needed new tires because you guys look at the rear wheel that came off the Tesla. This was the one that went flat when the car got rear-ended. So he pulled over because this tire went flat, the car got rear-ended, and that's when we got it off Copart. But this thing has had a pretty gnarly tear in it this whole freaking time, and we didn't even know about it. So we needed some new tires on there anyways. The different size wheels allowed us to have some more tire options. So we're gonna go ahead and get these things onto e right here. These are way lighter, like I said, than the factory ones. And we also got a staggered fitment in case we want to go back to the drag strip later on with the lighter uh, wheel and tire combo. You could do a square setup from Unplugged if you wanted to do a straight track car build with your Tesla, but if we do plan to go back to the drag strip later on, we wanted to do that staggered fitment because the wider front tire up front really isn't helping us since more of the track pin is needed in the rear. It's just going to make more rolling resistance and unnecessary drag. So we're going to go ahead and get these on there though. We have to give the uh, rear tires that are on there right now back to Andrew from the Plaid Racing Channel and he's gonna be here soon to pick those up. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on these new wheels from Unplugged Performance with some fresh Nittos. All right guys, the new wheels and Nittos are on the car and we got it in the fab area over here because while I was just working on these guys right here, we just made up some quick kind of inner fender wells right here because when we were driving this thing around, we didn't take it on the street too much, but the only times that we did, it was flinging up a whole bunch of rocks and debris from the road all up in the car. I mean, even just from going to the drag strip, there's all kinds of just crap in here that we have to vacuum out every time from just debris getting flung up from the tires. You can hear it in the video. I'll turn the AC on and rocks are blown out of the vents and stuff. So we needed to at least put something on there to deflect all of the stuff from flying in the car if we plan on driving this thing. So Wyatt just got those knocked out. We didn't want them ridiculously wide either. So we should do a pretty good job. We'll get those painted up. And if you guys look right over here, in this box, we have ourselves a brand new Wang for Eroy here because, you know, Eroy 
looks a little naked without a wing on it. And the wing that we had on the car was Cletus's that we borrowed from the OG Leroy. And we reached out to Nine Lives Racing. And these guys make legit race car wings that actually provide useful downforce to cars on the track. And they're pretty well known in the road course world. And they hooked us up with a wing here that we are going to be installing on Eroy. So we will officially be in the hashtag Wang Gang here. And this is a big wing in here, 69 inches. It's on my oh, way. Yeah, grab it. Got it? Maybe. Oh, unit. That is a big wing. Look at that wing, boys. So it is no longer carbon fiber. We gotta get this other end off right here. This was just for shipping. We put these pieces of wood on the end, but we got ourselves a full aluminum racing wing. And look at that. It even has like the airfoil built into the wing. These are pretty legit, guys. <laughs> Freaking guy. What a unit. Wing didn't fall off, did it? No, nope, she's still there. What a unit, dude. Solid. So we're going to add a couple more supports right under here just to help beef that up. But yeah, huge shout out to Nine Lives Racing for the wing. Also even has a freaking bottle opener right here ready to go it's ready for corona I don't know, season I don't know dude if they're promoting drinking and driving but hey <laughs> it's all on a closed course right but yeah got that on there we're gonna support it a little more maybe take it on some road courses in the future either way i'll probably take it down the highway at some point so i want to see some, i want to see it at 150. yeah see, see, how, see how it does see how fast eroy goes without the body on it again also these uh over fenders here definitely helps not flinging so much stuff anymore yeah i don't see it full of dirt and rocks at least none new so that's yeah. a plus. Eroy's back, boys. I gotta say, those new wheels with the new wing looks pretty freaking good on Eroy. But that's gonna be about it for right now, guys. I'm just really glad we got these aluminum panels off of the car. And we don't have to crawl in through that hatch anymore. That has been very nice. But I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on what else we should do with Eroy. Drop a comment down below. I already wanna do a couple things, like I said, go to some road courses and got a couple other ideas, but I'd like to hear from you guys as well. Sorry there wasn't too much going on in this video, just reconverting this thing back to normal. This has definitely been one of the cooler projects we have done on the channel. And I also wanted to ask some of you guys that are still watching, what you guys think about switching cameras for the channel going forward. I'm trying to think of what we can do to elevate the channel to the next level because these Eroy videos did so good. And as awesome as that was, it sucks that the second we try to film anything else, you know, the video views take a dive and it hurts my soul a little bit. I'm like, what can we do to keep that retention there, keep each video good? And I think a lot of it is not me talking like I am now, but you know, you got to do that sometimes. I was thinking about possibly switching from the iPhone, going to like a nicer DSLR like we've done in the past. We used to be on a GoPro. I don't know guys, drop some suggestions down below, but we got some more content coming up on this thing and we got a ton to do on the MR2. We are also taking Eroy to the ice cream cruise, which I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video. So if you guys wanna see Eroy, we'll be at the 1320 video ice cream cruise along with the Routacy as well. So be sure to come on out, that is in Nebraska. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you later.